Not all cables are created equal. The amount of power they can carry cannot be judged by their thickness. The one on my right is a 60 watts USB-C to USB-C cable, and the one on my right is a 100 watts USB-C cable from Basis with a built-in screen. And this one is a pretty generic one. We can see their power delivery to the MacBook Pro 16 inch using a power meter. And we can also see the amount of power delivered using this one uh, with a display. And we can verify their results right here using this power meter in the middle. So let me show you the one uh, that is generic, which can only do 60 watts max plugged into my MacBook Pro 16 inch with a 74% of battery life. Based on, based on my power meter here, it says 63 watts. And uh, due to the power um, conversion loss, this is the 140 watts Apple original charger for this MacBook. So we can see it, it can only do put, it, put out 63 watts limited by this cable. Now I'm going to switch over to the basis 100 watts USB-C cable with the data uh, supply, which can do uh, 480 uh, megabits per second. And now that passed 60 watts already, 77, 79, 80. And the amount of power really depends on what the computer can consume. If I have a lower state of charge, around 20%, I can definitely get 100 watts easily. Now it's at 70, uh, 98 watts. If I zoom in, you can see the power display here. Uh, it's a bit tricky to see because there is, um, has its internal refresh rate. Uh, it's not flashing to my naked eye. It actually says 89 watts right now. 95 over here. Um, so yeah, I just wanna show you the cable really matters. If I wanna plug in the power delivery here, uh, power meter here with a larger display and compared to this one, I uh, just want to show you the accuracy is, is, is great. Um, uh, on the computer, I'm going to put on a load and run the CPU benchmark to max out the 100 watts. By using USB-C to the MagSafe connection, I'll be able to easily put 140 watts out of it. Okay, that's 98 watts already. Um, Okay, moving down here, we're seeing 90 watts. So the power output of this cable can be fully verified by all these uh, USB or AC instruments. And what's more, if you don't need, if you don't need to buy these, if you don't want to buy these kilowatt or uh, expensive USB meter, the simplest solution is to get this cable. So again, let me move my camera here. It says 90 watts. It's the power uh, delivery at, at around 20 watts, 4.5 amps. Although the screen is flashing, I can see it is uh, 92 watts, 90 watts. And it shows 97 watts here on the kilowatt meter, which means there is about five watts of conversion loss from the Apple original charger. And now I'm actually gonna switch over to a 100, true 100 watts from basis, which is significantly smaller than the original Apple charger. With a GAN technology, so that's 100 watts here. And I think I should be able to pull uh, 100 watts from this charger. It takes a while to negotiate for a higher power output. Now 66, 75, 81, 
and it's totally safe to use a pow high power output charger to charge smaller devices. So as you can see, in order to save time, it will, it's a 40% increase or 50% increase over a generic USB type C cable. Although it appears to be uh, quite thick, this 100 watts cable is actually um, thinner with a braided finish, 96 watts. So that's the equivalent of the larger alternative, the uh, 100 watts, 140 watts Apple charger, which is so much bigger. Um, back to the cable. As soon as I finished the um, CPU benchmark, the power consumption dropped to around 85 watts, 96 watts, and 80, 85 watts right here. So a 10 watts difference. Okay, I'm gonna drop my camera. This side is bigger, larger than the other end. It houses a display. Gonna zoom in. Yeah, that refresh rate is really annoying. Can't really, cannot, I tried multiple cameras. I, it cannot be captured by any camera that I have. Maybe because due to the shutter speed, <laughs> it, it cannot, um, really properly capture the, the display. But to the naked human eye, there is no flushing at all. It shows 70, 87 watts, 88 watts, and the refresh rate on, on the other side is a bit faster. So there's a little small discrepancy. It shows power delivery 3.0. Yeah, um, by the way, the CPU benchmark is ongoing. Still running that. And the basis uh, USB C charger 100 watts handle this test um, perfectly. It is uh, the exact equivalent of the original Apple charger, although it doesn't say it's 100 watts because I guess Apple currently only pulls 90 watts. And I don't see that passes 85 anyway. This is a high quality setup. If you are looking for a charger, a cable to understand the whole charging process and um, to test the chargers. This is just one digit, very simple idea. Um, just one number to understand the, the device as well as the charger. If I wanna plug, unplug it and charge my it does get a bit warm over here and charge my, um, the Mac, I'm sorry, the iPad Pro with M1 chip at 80%. I can see it is at 21 watts or 20 watts. The maximum allowed is 30 watts. Even without a kilowatt meter, you'll be able to tell it with this kind of uh, interesting cable. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.